Welcome, Spectora user, to your new features for May 2018. Before I go on, though, I'd like to introduce myself. I am the newest member of the Spectora family, your new core developer and innovator here at Spectora, Tyler Lesman. And today I'm here to announce several features that I've developed just for you. As a user of Spectora, I'm sure you've come to enjoy our template editor, which allows you to create featureful and beautiful reports over and over again. Well, I'm happy to announce that the template editor is even better than ever. Using bleeding edge web technology, I've completely reworked the template editor to be near instantaneous in most of its operations. As you can see here, you can select sections instantaneously, items instantaneously. You want to change templates? Not a big deal. You can change them instantaneously. You want to change this template's name? Not a big problem. Just go like this and click save all. It's all done, all saved. You want to create a new section? No problem. It's done, there's a new section. You want a new item? We can do that too. And it's done. Same thing with comments. Create a mo you can create a comment of any type, just as you could before. And there you go. Same thing, super fast. We'll create another one just for funsies. Most of the interface is near identical to what you are used to, which is by design. We don't want you to have to learn new things or to adapt. We want you to be as productive and as happy as possible as a user of Spectora software. So most of the operations are nearly identical to what you're used to. You can still drag comments. You can still drag items. But you can also, in the past, like I showed you here on items, you used to have to click on this handle over here to move them. You don't have to do that anymore. You can click anywhere on the item to rework where they are in the listing. You want no problem to be higher? It's no problem. You can click anywhere on it and drag it to where you want. I should also note that deleting is just as fast, just as instantaneous as every other operation. Let's see, what other changes do we have? Well, as far as actually changing things, if you want to change the name of a comment, that is slightly different. In the past, you would click on this pencil, and you still can. But you'll notice that it doesn't bring up a modal, which is what this is, as it did in the past. Instead, what it does is it allows you to edit it in place. It'll go ahead and put the focus on this new field. You can change it to what you want. It'll save automatically. You can click off or you can press enter and it'll go back to what it was prior. What other things do we have that are new? Well, say I wanted to set a new default template. This was not an easy or intuitive operation in the past, but now it is. You can go ahead and enter template settings either by going to the menu here and clicking on template settings or by clicking on the name or the header up here. It'll bring you into this screen. You will note a new button on this screen which says or reads set as company's default template. Setting the default template is as easy as clicking that button. This is currently the company's default template. That easy and quick. You want to set it back? Not a big problem. You can just go and click the button again on the other template. See how fast and fluid that is? Now, if you ever do, in if you ever do encounter a problem with this template editor, template editor 2.0, feel free to reach out to us. We want to hear about it so we can make it as good as we can make it. You can contact us by clicking on this little green bubble down here. That'll contact us via intercom. And if you ever encounter an error that you cannot work around, you can, for a limited time only, use the old template editor by entering the menu up here and going to old template editor. We want you to be as productive and as profitable and happy as possible using Spectora software and hopefully you will be with template editor 2.0. But that's not all for this update, there's more. 
Call now and get additional features for what you're exactly paying for Spectora at the moment. Let's go ahead and create a new inspection. Just as I'm sure you have time and time again. Well, now I'm going to do it for you, at least for this, <laughs> this example. There we go. We have one for this location. It's loaded up. Let's go ahead and create for this client here. Put in his email, just as I'm sure you've done time and time again. There we go. But perhaps you need a second client. This is a feature that you've requested in the past of Spectora, and we have had it on our list for some time, and I'm happy to tell you that today you can add an additional client. Finally, by clicking that button. Let's go ahead and do so. There you go. There's his email. And we'll go ahead and set up the services. As you can see, there's our second client. It works just the same as what you're used to. Click Save Inspection. And now we have a brand new inspection with two, count them, two buyers. Let's go ahead and enter that inspection. Take a look at what else has changed. Say you weren't as attentive. Maybe you didn't enter in that client on that screen. There's nothing to worry about. You can still do it. There is still time. You can go ahead and click on this button right here. People new. You'll see client number two. And you can enter it just like you did on the prior screen. You again have two. Two clients on one inspection. But that's not all. You also have emails for both of your clients. Text messages. If these both had phone numbers, you would see them over here. But they don't, so you do not see them. They also both appear on the agreement. You'll see them both here at the top, as well as the bottom. And by checking this box, both clients hereby accept the terms and conditions of the above agreement. Let's go ahead and do it for this hypothetical inspection. There you go. Now let's head back to the inspection edit screen. That about covers it. Pretty simple operation. Again, if you have any problems with this brand new feature at Spectora, please contact us via the green bubble in the lower right. One more feature to leave you with, another that you have requested, and we are happy to finally deliver. We listen to our users here at Spectora, and I'm happy to say that we have again made new things possible for you. So if you go to the settings screen on your Spectora page, and then you scroll down to company settings, you will see in integrations. Let's click on that as well. And under integrations, you'll see a new, a new entry at the very top, Google Drive. You can now have nightly backups of your reports, your invoices, agreements, and your attachments to your own Google Drive. And all you have to do, I also know it doesn't say attachments on there, but be assured that attachments on your inspections are also backed up to Google Drive. To enable this feature, all you have to do is click this button to the right, enable Google Drive. Let's go ahead and do so now. It'll bring you to this screen. You likely only have one account on here, so let's go ahead and click on this one. Just emulating what you might do. On this screen, it will go ahead and ask you if it's all right that Spectora accesses your Google Drive as well as views files and manages those files that it creates upon there. We'll go ahead and click allow. If you do not click allow here, you will not have the feature. So please click allow if you do desire the Google Drive integration. <laughs> and there you go. We have Google Drive integration. A few caveats to how this works. It backs up on a nightly basis that's around mid midnight mountain, uh, mountain time. It's, to be exact, it's at 7 o'clock UTC, which is about midnight our time here in Colorado. Also, I should note that it backs up the last 20 published inspections. These are all important facts. 20 published latest inspections. Now you might wonder, I have 500 inspections and I'd really like to have them all backed up. Well, they will be backed up eventually. It does keep track of which ones it's backed up 
and it will work its way down the line back in time and eventually it will have all 500 or whatever number you have backed up onto your Google Drive. And it will inform you if you get low on disk space on your Google Drive as well. Uh, I should also note that whenever you update a published inspection, it will again back up that inspection, or at least its pieces. Uh, and that will count towards one of your 20 backed up inspections, although that probably won't be a huge deal. Anyway, that concludes all the new features for this update of Spectora. At Spectora, we hope that our software makes you more profitable, productive, and proud to call yourself a Spectora user. I look forward to bringing you new features in the future. In fact, I'm hinting that next time, perhaps I'll be telling you about a new report writer that'll be faster than any you may have imagined. See you then.